Looking for a super fun activity to help your learners remember, revise known vocabulary? You are at the right place at the Teacher Trainers channel. Also, stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you some quick tips to make sure your classroom is a hit. I'm Warren Hammond, and today I'm going to be sharing a classic, Stop the Bus. Beep, beep! Guys, here's a quick overview. Stop the Bus is a lovable classic activity. It is best used for learners who are at pre-intermediate up until advanced. Stop the Bus is best to help students revise and recycle known vocabulary, that is, old and new. In my version of Stop the Bus, students are actually seated. Also, it is really competitive but also relaxing and best used also when you're combining the weaker students with some of those stronger learners. Here are the instructions for Stop the Bus. First of all, you've got all your learners sitting down relaxed, ready to begin. Up on the board, write five level appropriate topics. For example, if we had pre-intermediate perhaps, go country, fruit, animal, weather, technology. Then, next to that, write the letter S, for example. Now that you've got your board set up, we must ask the students to help you think of words related to the topic starting with that letter. For example, country, Singapore, uh, fruit, strawberry, and so on. Let them know in teams they must do the same for all five topics. Then, once done, they must shout, stop the bus! Let's see it in action. Get your students moved around the room, each in small teams. Okay, grab each team with a pen and paper and go. Yes. They must now brainstorm words for each of those topics. Once a group has written down their five words relating to the topic and the letter that's chosen, they will shout, stop the bus. That is when we must listen and check if their answers are correct. And if so, award them a star. But if not, keep going. Another team's gonna have a chance to stop the bus. The game is over when either uh, a team wins the most number of stars or the time runs out. Time for those quick tips. First tip, uh, change over your topics. So for example, each round you might change country for uh, sport or perhaps uh, fruit for drink. Okay. Next one, uh, a timer may be necessary. If the activity is going a bit too long, feel free to add a timer or perhaps count down. So like 10, nine, eight, and so on. Okay, once you're done, check what answers you have. The third one there is that this activity is best as a bit of a warm up start of your class. However, if time permits, you might wanna use it at the end of class, five minute activity. My fourth and final tip for you guys is if you've done this activity quite a few times, your students are used to it, change it around to stop the rocket. Okay, this means that the activity becomes a lot more complex. Change the topics for those easy, simple, basic topics to topics like adjectives, or perhaps a word that contains A and N. Maybe you do tenses, um, three syllable words. Be creative. Guys, thank you very much for watching Teacher Trainers channel. Please do try this in your class.